What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Been a minute since I posted. Um, got a new gig at work, which is working out pretty well. Um, so just been taking up my time with that. But anyway, getting back to installing truck parts. Um, I had an eBay intake horn that I ordered. Let's see if I can take it out with one hand without messing my car up. So the only thing it comes with is this, which it's dented for that fuel line. That's how it's supposed to be. It's like a pusher style um, intake manifold. And then it comes with gaskets, which look like they're kind of bent and a little bit of bracket. And I'm assuming that bracket is for the, I would assume that's for, uh, man, I'm having a brain fart, where like the oil, where the oil dipstick is. So let's see if this works. So this is $60. Um, I will include the link below in the description. So 60 bucks. Um, let's see if it's worth it or if it's a piece of junk. We'll find out. Well, guys, I was going to set you up on a tripod, but that's uh, not going to happen because I literally just broke it. So let me go over what I'm going to remove and then I'm going to remove it and then I'll show you guys. So there's a bracket right there, another bracket there, and then there is these two on the outside, one on the back, two on the other side. And then I would assume that that bolt right there is for that. And then this wiring harness right here that runs. And then there is a, <clears throat> can you see this right here? A, they all look like tens, really. And I gotta unclip it right here for the sensor. Other than that, I don't know. I, I feel like that's it. So let me go ahead, let me get this removed. Let me get this out of the way. And like I said, I put you guys on a tripod, but I just broke it. So I'm gonna have to order another. So in the garage, um, I realized I needed to record. I took the map sensor, which goes here, and it's gonna go right in the bottom. And it's a Torx 15, um, what actually holds that secured. It's got like a little O-ring, so like you kind of got to give a little bit of uh, a little bit of force to get out. But you'll see um, this plug will not get back in. That's uh, what's gonna control the actual butterfly in here. Um, so tips of advice on getting this out um these are these are all 10 millimeters you got another 10 up top right here there's a bracket that i showed you guys and then the coupler here so there's like a black surrounding which you saw earlier in the video this is a 13 and it has a 10 nut on this side you need to remove that so that you can work this gasket around because if not you're going to be fighting it uh the entire time so just take the time remove that like black surrounding which if you look back earlier in the video you'll see and um, the only thing that needs to be transferred from this one to this one is this map sensor and it goes underneath so other than that nothing else needs to be transferred um i will go let me show you guys oh, garage is a mess working on the hatch too um so you see that i wish i would have bought a grid heater delete and kind of spent the extra time to do it but i didn't so there's that um these clips are for factory EGR. That's my map right there. And then that controls that butterfly that I talked about. Um, my plan of attack, I'm gonna clean this surface up and I'm gonna take a vacuum. Um, Cause you can see there's like a little bit of debris in the back. I just don't want that to go in the motor. So clean that surface up really well to make sure the gasket sits flush, put the, gap, put the brand new gasket down. And then the bracket that holds the dipstick, which I'm gonna show you guys all this together. I'm gonna take these two bolts out. Uh, bolt it up up there and show you guys so sorry i couldn't show you while i was doing it just remove the black surrounding so that you can work this gasket out because or work this coupler out because this coupler is kind of a pain and then it's 11 millimeter so let me get back let me transfer everything let me get it cleaned up and keep moving i say keep moving and then i just keep showing you guys stuff so let me uh let me show you guys so factory that's not like soot build up right here and it is kind of, I mean, there is buildup in there, no question. But that's not the soot buildup. That's just like the opening for your factory. So like opening down here is going to be the same as what it is on this one, I would assume. I'll flip it over. It's not powder coated or anything. I don't really care. So that opening, no, it's actually bigger too. That kind of worries me on that factory coupler. Um, we'll have to see if that's going to cause an issue or not. But the opening even though it has a divider in the middle um you can see that it is substantially larger than that which 
I'm not really like for the money that I spent on this. I'm not really looking for like a big gain at this exact moment. It's for down the road when I go big turbo setup. Um, all the supporting mods I should have. I shouldn't have any airflow restrictions, shouldn't have anything like that. Because I know a lot of people are gonna be like, the factory one does fine. I'm sure it does. But if you look on banks, this is a pusher style and it's gonna be exactly the same. So the pusher style that you see flows like 100%, I think is what Banks did on his bench test, 100% better than this. Or maybe, no, 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 it was 98% better, I'm sorry. It's like something like that, you have to look it up. Banks does actually a really good video. I know a lot of people hate on his products, but he did a really good flow test um, for this one versus a pusher style, which this is gonna be exactly the same. For $60, as long as this thing bolts up and doesn't give me any issues on that, um, this is gonna be well worth the money. So let me go ahead and let me get this stuff back on here and let's go from there. All right guys, so got it all on. Um, tips of advice, well, I don't have it all on. I gotta put this bracket on. Tips of advice are um, get all the bolts started and those two, um, the one underneath that they supply in the kit, and then the one on the right hand side which is your factory just reuse bolt uh they're the most difficult to get to they're not insanely hard but you you don't need a ratcheting wrench but if you don't have a ratcheting wrench you're gonna be hunched over for a while and it's kind of gonna wear on your back so 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench to get to those two the rest were super easy um to drop that back one back bolt in i used a magnet um just to kind of help me out a little bit and this coupler is it does fit um i know i mentioned that i was kind of worried about the size it does fit perfectly fine but when you get this coupler off it's very very flimsy i didn't expect it to be as flimsy as it is um so you kind of got to use a screwdriver and a little bit of patience to get it all the way around but once you get it all the way around it's not bad but just keep that in mind um yeah so that's it so let's go ahead and let me put the bracket on for the dipstick tube and let me go all for right, so before we go on the drive i just want to show you guys the last thing um eight millimeter eight millimeter and that's there's a old um i reused a nut a bolt and then they give you a supplied nut so that the kit only comes with this bracket intake manifold gasket an extra bolt that goes down there and then a nut so if you're wondering where this goes because there's no instructions hopefully that helps but i'll be honest with you guys unless this thing like cracks under heat or like i don't know like that's the only really thing that could happen is cracks under heat um as far as like fitment goes 60 dollars this thing gave me no fight no issues no nothing 60 bucks I'd do this every day of the week for 60 bucks. The fitment is great, honestly. I'm I'm not even kidding. Now, I haven't drove it. Like I said, I'm not really expecting anything crazy. If I do get something cool, if I don't, that's fine too. Um, I am gonna turn it up on the bigger tune, probably after this. But anyway, fitment, zero complaints. 60, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 as far as fitment goes. So let's go on a drive. So <clears throat> it's late at night, guys. I'm gonna close the video out. Um, driving around i'll be the first to tell you guys that i didn't have it tightened down enough um the 10 millimeter bolts that are on the uh, grid heater i did not have them tightened enough and it actually made like a really weird interesting noise that you'll definitely know when you do not have it tightened correctly so got that tightened back down and um good to go now um do i notice a difference i hate to say if i do or i don't because it's one of those things like it feels more responsive but you hate to be that person and be like yeah it's a big difference but what i recommended for 60 dollars to go ahead and get that elbow a little bit more free flowing um maybe for future mods absolutely 60 dollars probably one of the best 60 dollars mods i bought um intake was what 50 bucks intake horn 60 dollars so for under 100 i have you know how how i want my truck to sound and definitely support it for future mods so that's going to close the video out guys um very very pleased with it no complaints at all fitment's great it'll be in the link below um go ahead and like the video if you made it this far and also as always guys give it a sub appreciate all your support and until next time